All right, everybody. So we're, we're going to play a game to go over all the vocabulary words from chapter, um, chapter one. And when you look at all these words together, it, it can be a little intimidating. I say, oh, no, I, I know that one, but I don't know this one. I don't know. Oh, no, no, it's OK. We'll go over everything. And we'll use the book uh, to go over it. And I'm going to actually have it plugged in my document camera here. But first, I want to give you all a minute to take a look at this list of words and ask if you need to uh, go over one or two. I'll go over the pronunciation as well. So I'll make a little check mark right here. I'll just make a little kind of an asterisk here. The first one is indeterminate, indeterminate. And you could uh, follow me with the pronunciation. Everybody follow me. Indeterminate. 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 Very nice. Appearance. 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 Dramatically. 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 Distinctive. Distinctive. Engaged. Engaged. Manner. 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 Maturation. 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 Very good. Maturation. Receptive. 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 Unintentionally. 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 Very nice. Distinctive. 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 Dynamic. Uh, dynamic. <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm going to repeat distinctive again. Distinctive. 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 Dynamic. 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 Excellent. Traits. 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 Anthropologists. Anthropologists. Very good. Um, <laughs> Uh, just let somebody in the waiting room there. Predominantly. Predominantly. Predisposes. Predisposes. Neglected. Neglected. Ethnicity. 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 Good, very good. All right, so there's a ton of words here, all that you read in chapter one. And as we go over how to use these vocab words in a sentence, I'm gonna introduce a game. Uh, we're gonna have two teams. There's a numbers on a scoreboard. You don't know what the numbers are. Who watched the Super Bowl two nights ago? Me. Mm -hmm. All right. Who could tell me which team won? Who won the game, game? LA. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you remember the name of the team? It's, it's difficult. I don't remember the name. The Rams. Like the an Rams. animal. Yeah, okay. The Rams. Rams. <laughs> Rams. There was the LA Rams and they were playing. It was a good game. Really tough. Both great teams. The Cincinnati, the team was the Cincinnati Bengals. members. The Bengals. Bengals, very good. Bengals, yeah. Mm -hmm. A Bengal is a type of tiger. Cincinnati Bengals and the LA Rams. <clears throat> so we've got two teams here, the Bengals and the Rams. Now, behind each one of these squares is a number. And contestants of the game will uh, make a sentence with these words. But first, as a review, we will go over which were uh, how these words are used 
in a sentence. So um, let's see, I'm gonna pull up the video panel so I can see your faces here. All right. Who, just give me one of the words that we just went over and I'll tell you which page you can find it in. And we'll all go over it together and I'll hook up my, I got my document camera hooked up. I'll get rid of my uh, virtual background <clears throat> once. Well, first uh, just raise your hand. Let me know if you need a word, uh, if you wanna go over one of the words. So neglected, ethnicity, or one of these long. Kimberly, yes. <clears throat> Which word would you like to go uh, over? Neglected. Neglected, beautiful. Okay. So everybody, I'm going to tell you which page you can find the word neglected. And that is on page 10, page 10. So for everybody who doesn't have a book, I'm going to, I think there's only two or three people. Uh, I will set up my document camera right now. Here we go. I don't have my book yet, teacher. So take a look at, that's why I'm setting up the document camera. So here we go. You'll see in my screen in just a moment, Okay, here it is. I'm going to, in one moment, I got to adjust one thing here. And friend Silas, don't worry, I'll get to you. I'm, I'm leaving my share, turning my camera back on. I got to get rid of this background to show the document camera. Here we go. Background off, document camera on. Here we go, like magic. I gotta turn that background off. There we go. Okay, everybody. So does everybody see the word neglected on page 10? So there we go. Page 10, neglected. All right. It has been shown repeatedly that infants deprived of loving human contact, for example, those badly neglected do not develop normally, either physically or mentally. So there's the word neglected used in the sentence. Who could define for me the word neglected? What does neglected mean? Neglect. Does it mean to pay attention to or not to pay attention like to? teacher it's like uh, when you forgot something like you don't you don't pay attention to that exactly exactly to forget to pay to to use it in a sentence uh like we forget things all the time it's like you walk out of the house and you forget your keys oh i neglected to bring my keys something like that you don't it's when you don't take care about exactly it's it ne neglect is not being careful Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see, here we go, uh, let's see, here we go, um, Francelis, which word did you want to go over? Uh, Enesery, page 20. Page 20, all right, you know exactly which page it is on. Very good, Francis. Okay, initiative, this one? Yes, correct. All right, initiative. The way infants look and act has bearing on how parents feel and act toward them. And even the most helpless infant can initiate, I'm sorry, not initiative, initiate initiate interaction simply by crying initiate interaction simply by crying so 
So what is the, in that context, how would we define the word initiate? Again? So this, when you, when you talk about the relationship uh, between gender, class, ethnicity, uh, ethnic. Uh, no, not, not in this sentence, no. Those are other vocab words. But I, I think it's about you're... culture. Like, well, when you not are in this context. Okay. Not in this context. It's a, I'll read it one more time. The way infants look and act has bearing on how parents feel and act toward them. And even the most helpless infant can initiate interaction simply by crying. So I mean, like infants, a star teacher, when you, exactly. when you start doing something. Yes, Kimberly, that's the definition of initiate, to start. To start is to initiate. Oh, okay. Oh, you have, you have, you have a consider the, the, the context of the, of the, of the world. To start is to initiate. All right. Uh, I'm going to go back to the, uh, I'm going to go back to my, uh, let's see. I'm going to go back to my screen share here and I'm gonna ask if anybody else needs to review another word before we begin. Here we go. All right, so we've done initiate, we've done neglected. Any more words that we need before we begin the, the game? Maturation. Maturation. Good. I think that's on page 10. Let's see. And I'm going to bring up my document, my uh, <clears throat> video panel one more time. Here we go. All right. Uh, can everybody see, uh, even though I'm sharing my screen, can everybody see in my camera where I'm holding the word? Uh, yes. Where I'm holding up yes. The Great, great, wonderful. That means I can keep on screen share. So maturation, I actually don't think it's on this page. Hang on one moment, maturation. Nope, that's in the earlier reading. So I'm going backwards to the very first one. There we go, that's it. So where was maturation? Hang on a second. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, so let me just make sure. Yes, there it is, all right, wonderful. The infants we met in the hospital have been subjected to two unavoidable processes. One is maturation or the physical development of the body, which proceeds at approximately the same rate for everyone. Um, I'm going to help you. If someone is mature, how would we describe the person? Mature. Mature. Can be an old older people. Can be a uh, uh, people is that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Imar is really, really getting it. He's saying, I think somebody's. Um, oh, I think. Oh, I think. Imar, are you uh, pressing something on your computer? Oh no, it's my. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Oh no, you know, did everybody hear that sound? It sounded like a basketball dribbling. I had something leaning on the keyboard, and it was going. Do, 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 do. I was like, "What? What's going on here?" So, okay, and that's my daughter. So, uh, yeah, okay, teaching class. Now. So, maturation. Uh, the way Inmar said uh, the word mature would describe an older person. That's yeah. correct. So somebody who has matured is somebody who has had a little bit of experience, uh, knowledge, behaves yeah. more mature. Mm -hmm. Someone who acts like a younger person, we can say immature. Immature, yeah. Yeah, or I could sometimes describe myself, even though I'm an adult, sometimes, sometimes I act a little silly. Immature. Immature. Mature, immature. And in this case... It, the infants go through a stage of maturation. Maturation is uh, maturation or the physical development of the body, 
Yeah, yeah, that's, yes. uh, a baby, that's the physical, not just the mental, emotional, physical growth and development. All right. Okay, any more words to go over before we play? Kimberly, yes. Um, predominantly. Predominantly, predominantly. yes. Mm -hmm. predominantly. All right, so predominantly, I believe that's way over in page 20. Let me see. No, yep, there it is. Um, there it is, all right. Not on page 20, page nine. <clears throat> okay, so here it is, predominantly. Okay. I'll, I'll read, I won't, yeah, I'll read right here. Much of the research concerns first the issue of what proportion of personality is made up of inherited traits and what proportion consists of learned behavior. Are people predominantly biological or predominantly cultural creatures? So this last line right here, it's asking the question, predominantly biological or predominantly cultural so what shapes us more uh, in sociology the question is nature or nurture the culture we live in or our biology am i destined to be just like my mom and my dad because of biology or will the culture i grow up in shape me more that's the question so the word culture. predominantly what does that mean mostly Mostly, exactly. So good job. You gave a synonym. Are we mo good job, Maravat? Are we Thanks. mostly biological or mostly cultural? So predominantly means mostly. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Uh, any more questions on vocab before we play the game? Carrie, yes. Traits. Traits. Excellent. Um, <laughs> A trait, in, I actually, I don't even need to go into the textbook. A trait is a feature, a detail. A feature or a detail. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And, and in the context of the chapter, it's our personality traits. Are we grumpy? Are we serious? Are we, you know, these, these are words to describe traits of a personality. Okay. All right. Okay, so we've done a lot. I think we're ready to play. Everybody ready to play? Going once, yeah. going twice. Okay, let's play the game. So here's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna make two teams and uh, I'll, for this, I'm not gonna force everybody to speak. Uh, I'll just take volunteers. Some of you might've played with this with me if you've been here for more than one semester. All right, so we have, the Rams, and we have the Bengals. Bengals. So the two teams that just played in the Super Bowl. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's say I'm going to take. I'm just going to take two uh, volunteers. Let's say Annie Sanchez. If you are playing for the Rams, I'll put Annie right here. So, Annie, what I've got is this. I'm going to, I gotta get rid of the document camera. Okay, back to the regular camera. Okay, everybody can see me? And let me uh, get yeah. my background here. Hang one second, where's my virtual, bring back the, uh, my virtual background. Okay, so. All right, forget the background. Let's keep it moving. All right, so if Annie is playing first, I have here a post-it note. And on this post-it note, there are numbers, but nobody knows what numbers are where. There's 14 squares and it's a game of luck. So all I'm gonna ask Annie to do is I will choose one of these vocabulary words randomly and ask Annie to put the word into a sentence. So if I underline the word neglected, 
And he says, I neglected to, uh, to set the alarm on my phone and I slept too long this morning. And I say, good job, Annie. And I say, Annie, choose a square. Annie can choose any square she wants. And there's a number on each square. Some are high numbers, some are low numbers. Let's say Annie chooses 2A. 2A is worth 50 points. Yay, the Rams are on the board with 50 points. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say I ask for a volunteer for the Bengals. And, oh, I don't know, Fernanda. Yes. volunteers for the Bengals and I'm just going to write the names so I remember who's playing on which team just for a little bit of fun and then I give Fernanda this word I say Fernanda engaged please use it in a sentence and Fernanda says um I am engaged with class because I'm so focused or uh, I am engaged with my partner because we are in love. And I say, good job making a sentence. And Fernanda chooses another number. number Remember three. these could be. Later. Okay, so she already knows her number, but I'm gonna say just for, um, just for uh, the sake of showing how the game can run, let's say, Fernanda chooses B, and B is negative 10. Oh, no. The Bengals are down by 10 points. But somewhere hiding on these squares is a reversal, and it looks like this. It could be anywhere. So when you hit one of these, it's like the game Uno. Okay. The scores are reversed. So suddenly... The Bengals are up and the Rams are down and you never know where, which number. So it's a little bit of fun and you get to work together. And if you are given a word and you don't know how to use the word in a sentence or you're stuck, you don't know what to say, uh, maybe you volunteer and I give you the word anthropologist and you're like, oh, I forgot what anthropologist is. I'll tell you what page, say, what page is it on? And I'll tell you what page. And, or you can ask for help. Maybe uh, Wesley says, oh, an anthropologist is somebody who studies culture. Use that in a sentence. Oh, and if you're stuck, you can usually talk to each other, help each other out. Okay. And we just fill up and it, we just have a little bit of fun. So uh, let's see. Oh, I got a few people who just entered the waiting room. I'm gonna uh, leave my... Um, I'm going to readjust this for a moment to bring back my background. Does everybody understand how to play? Teacher, I have a question for you. Yes. Um, all these worlds, we have to keep the same topic or doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. Just use it okay. in a sentence correctly. Okay, yeah. thank you. Not that strict. So here we go. I'm going to open my i'm going to readjust my background here ba, 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 ba. what do i feel like today okay no i'm not i'm going to go with uh this background okay oh you know what since we just the super bowl just happened let's go with this background there we go how about that how's that for my virtual background okay very thematic okay so going back to the screen, here we are. Whoop. Okay, so let's play. Okay, so We'll start with uh, the first volunteer. Okay, so we got the Rams and the Bengals. Who wants to volunteer first? Me, Annie. Annie, okay, Annie. All right, so Annie is first up for the Rams. Annie, I'm gonna give you the word receptive. Please use it in a sentence. Okay. 
Oh, there's one thing I forgot to mention. If uh, you get stuck to move the game along, I can do this. Go. Okay. We can be more receptive about the different cultures. Sure, we can be more receptive of different cultures. Great way to use that in a sentence. Excellent. Okay, nice job, Annie. Where would you like to go? Which square? Um, C2. C2 and C2 is, uh oh, ha, huh, this is funny. You're starting out with a reversal. So nothing, nothing. Oh. <laughs> nothing on the scoreboard. It's okay. It's okay. But I, I write these ahead of time, but that's that's the way. Nobody oh, wants to play with me now. <laughs> it's okay. No, no, no. But it's Annie, it's okay. You're not up, you're not down, it's still zero zero. Okay, no problem. All right. Um, and uh, raise your hand if you want to volunteer next. Who who wants to go next? Or I'll just Okay, we got three people raise their hands. Who is that? Okay, that is uh, Carrie and then Kimberly. Great. So I'll put Carrie, you'll be on the Bengals. Carrie, C R E Y. So Carrie, you're next. And then Kimberly will be next for the Rams. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Carrie, I'm going to give you the word distinctive. Are you ready? Carrie, please. Yes. But distinctive in a sentence. Go for it. All right. So, my brother is distinctive to me because, um, no, that's not a good word. Okay. No, my brother is distinctive to me. Um, even though we are from the same family. You can say my brother is distinctive from me. Or right. yeah, yeah, you can say that. You know we're the same. Yeah, it means you're not exactly the same. Perfect. All right. So uh Carrie, which would you like? Um B3. B3 down here. B3 is 50. Okay. So the Bengals are on. The scoreboard with 50 points but everything can change and it will change <laughs> all right uh next up is kimberly all right kimberly i'm going to give you the word uh oh i put distinctive twice ah silly me uh <laughs> distinctive distinctive um i'm going to give you the word predominantly predominantly okay um she's more predominantly to win this game to want this game okay she's predominantly uh, hmm. well remember predominantly you'd want to give it's kind of think of it like um you'd want to follow that with more of an uh an adjective well, you could say she's predominantly winning the game. Yeah, you could put it, follow it with a gerund, a verb there. Predominantly winning the game. That'll work. Predominantly going to win the game. You, It would be a little awkward as a prediction. But yeah, okay. Oh. So she'll predominantly, because you want to be predominantly and then describe something else. Okay. Uh, let's see. What would you like? Which one would you like? Uh, A4. Did you say A4? Yes. Okay. A4 is minus 10. Don't worry, everything can change. Don't worry, don't worry. So I see two have raised their hands, Francellus and then Fernanda. So I'm gonna put Francellus on the bank. Wow, come on. Francellus will be playing for the Bengals. And Fernanda will be playing for the Rams. So Francellus. Francellus. Yeah. Fernanda. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, Francellus. I'm gonna give you the word uh engaged. Engaged. 
Please make a sentence with engaged. Um, Francel is engaged with her girl, a boyfriend on Valentine's Day. Okay, very nice. Perfect. This is true. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Congratulations. That's, that's wonderful. All right. Okay. So, which square would you like? C3. C, one, two, three, and that's also negative 10. So that 50 turns into 40. Bengals are still in the lead. Okay. And oh, I love the emotions coming out. It's just a game. Uh, Wesley, I see your hand up. So Wesley, you'll be next for the Bengals. Okay. So remember everybody, if you want to volunteer next, just put your hand up. Wesley, you'll be playing for the Bengals. No teacher, Wesley. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Francelis, I forgot, Fernanda. Let's see. I did, I'm writing the wrong word down. I'm writing the name. I'm Wesley. talking and writing at the same time. My brain is sending mixed signals. Wesley, you will be next. I skipped Fernanda for the Rams, I'm sorry. No Wesley, you will be next. Don't worry. I was ahead of myself. Here we go. Okay, Fernanda, your turn. I'm going to give you the word neglected. Neglected. Go for it, Fernanda. Neglected. I don't neglect the about the global economic you could say i don't you 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 want to reconjugate the words mixing up the um, adjectives and nouns and verbs so you could say i don't neglect the economy or i don't neglect the ec economic situation or yeah, I haven't or you could put it in neglected the ed is past tense i haven't neglected Whatever, yeah. whatever you're saying. Can I can I, I change the sure sure I'll pause I'll pause the, yeah I let me let me start the timer. <laughs> I don't neglect it when I, I see the the man spank the woman. Okay. Uh, Our children. I, I don't neglect to when I see. I don't neglect to, to get involved because you're talking about yourself. I don't neglect to get involved when I see men. You, I, I know what you mean to say. I try to finish that when I when I, I don't neglect to stand, say something when I see men. You keep, finish what you're saying, Fernanda. Yes, and men and spanky and kids. Okay, spanking kids. Yes. All right. All, All right. right. Very good. All right. Okay. A Fernanda, number one. Would you like a one, and that is twenty. So the Rams that negative ten turns into a ten. All right. Good job, Fernanda. And let's see, looking at the, okay, Wesley, it is your turn. And then Inmar will play, we'll go next for the Rams, okay. Wesley, I'm gonna give you the word dramatically, dramatically. I'm a dramatically when I'm, I'm angry. <laughs> okay, now um, you wanna say, this is kind of, think of it like an adverb, I'm dramatically something else. You could say I'm dramatic when I'm angry. Yeah, is that a word. I'm, I'm very dramatic, like a drama queen. Okay. Uh, yeah, or I dramatically turned down or whatever. I walked away dramatically, something like that. Um, where would you like to go, Wesley? Um, D one. D one is. Everybody's getting the negative tens. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't planned. I've got, right, I promise you, I have different. I have different numbers written here, but everybody's getting the negative tens. <laughs> okay, so that thirty, that uh, forty becomes a thirty. 
and the scores are getting closer. All right, and let's see, you're looking at my, uh, Inmar, you will be next, my friend. Yeah. Inmar, here we go. Well, Inmar, well, I'm going to give you the word. Well, well you got to make a sentence first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Inmar, I'm going to give you the word appearance. appearance. Appearance, okay. My appearance is shy, but I'm really happy. Well, my appearance is shy, but I'm very happy. I like it. Yeah. Okay, good job. 1B, you said this one? Yeah. Okay. All right, and that is negative 50. Everybody's getting that, hitting all the negative numbers. But don't worry, I promise you everything changes. So Rams are down on the scoreboard, but everything can change. Um, let's see. Need a new volunteer. Who would like to go next for the Bengals? Marvat, I see Marvat. Okay, great. Marvat has her hand up. Marvat, I will give you yes. the word. Okay, Marvat. Marvat. I'm abbreviating some people's names here just to keep things going. Uh, dynamic. Dynamic. Um, I am uh, working um, with dynamic. Uh, 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 experience. Okay, I have a dynamic experience. I have a okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Sure. That that works. All right. Where would you like to go? Um, a three. A three. That's minus forty. Everybody's hitting the negatives. So both teams are in the negatives now. This. It's funny. I try to do a mix of positive and negative numbers. You got these things. Yeah. Uh, wait, what was that? Uh, let's see. Minus 40. So you got these things. Minus, yeah, minus 10. Okay. All right. So still pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. Who is, let me see who has raised their hand. All right. Uh, who would like to go next? Okay, Francellus, well, you've already gone. Let me, I'm going to get somebody else a chance here. Okay. Um, I can go back. Uh, okay. I mean, we can just play with these eight. Unless nobody else, I don't see anyone else raising their hands. Okay, so we'll, we'll, play, we'll go back to Ani. Ani, are you ready? Right. Okay. Maturation. Maturation. Okay. Um, a child can go can grow up, and he can get he can get a maturation. Yes. Perfect. All right. Which square would you like? Um, a two. A two. Nice job. Look at that. You scored the hundred. Finally. <laughs> Good. Your luck has turned around. Here we go. Okay, so that negative 40 turns into a 60. 50. All right. So we're going back to Annie, and this was uh, Cindy. Cindy, are you ready? Cindy still there? Okay. Uh, Francellis for the Bengals. Francellis, what? Francellis, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. I think, I think oh, Kimberly say Andrea want to play. Oh, Andrea. Oh, okay. Andrea, all you got, I was just looking for the, uh, I see you in the chat. Okay. Uh, let's, let's see. I'll put you, Andrea, you'll be on the Bengals. Here we go. Andrea. Okay, Andrea, I'm going to give you this word unintentionally. Unintentionally. Go ahead, make a sentence with unintentionally, Andrea. 
Okay, so yesterday when I was playing soccer with my brother, I hit him with the ball unintentionally. Perfect. Nice complex sentence. Flawless there. Beautiful. All right. So uh, which one would you like to, which square would you like? You have one C, two B, two D, three D, four B, D, and C. Um, C one. C one. Ah, my slides are bouncing around. Sorry. C one. C one is thirty. All right, so uh, negative 10 becomes a 20. All right, wow. there we go. 20. So we're moving. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see. Andrea, oh, I think somebody just wrote something in the chat. Oh, Carrie, yes, I'm sorry, Carrie. I should have gone to Carrie. Uh, Carrie, you'll be next. I'd want, uh, let's see, let's go to, after Kimberly, I'll go back to, up here to Carrie. I, I thought I wrote, I couldn't remember if I wrote Cindy or Carrie up here. All right, um, Kimberly, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so here we go. Let's go after indeterminate. That's a tough one, indeterminate. If you need the page number, just let me know. Okay. Indeterminate. We were the... we were mm -hmm. having a conversation, but no, teacher. Can you go to the page, please? <laughs> okay, Sorry. sure, sure, sure. Um, no worries. It's um, it's on page three. I'll read it aloud. It says uh, the very first one. The first, if one were to look into a hospital nursery, almost. Anywhere in the world, the picture would be similar rows of cribs or baskets containing infants of indeterminate gender, some of whom are squirming. So think of the word, uh, if, you, if you break down the word determine, if you just look at this part of the word determine, determine, determine when you are, indeterminate when you would mean what? Okay. Um... What kind of gender? The, what kind of gender? First, person is? Like, excuse me. What, what kind of gender the, the, the person is? Well, more like the opposite of what you're saying. Right. Oh. Go, go ahead, Kimberly. In the first like two weeks, uh, the a mother, no, a woman in the first three weeks or two weeks in the first two weeks. A mother cannot know, I mean, no. <laughs> oh, let me think, teacher. Yeah, keep it simple. To determine means to know. So indeterminate means unknown, Don't know. not knowing. Yes. So okay. use that in a sentence. Opposite. Right, so keep it, keep it simple. And you could use it in another context. We has we uh, who can help her help help her out. I think Patrick, you wanted to help can her. Can I out? help you? you? I I say, yes, please. She can she can <laughs> she can determine the gender of the of the of the baby. Well, well, you gotta help her make a sentence using the word indeterminate. Can who I can, make can a I, sentence? Can I, can I help? Oh, can I can. I, Teacher. Okay, one, one at a time. Help help out, Kim. <laughs> okay, who's ready? Uh, she does. She, us, or? she gave us an in in indeterminate answer. Beautiful. An indeterminate is an adjective, so the answer was not clear. That's an indeterminate answer. Beautiful job. Was that Kimberly, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, teacher. I'm well sorry. done. No problem. I love it. You, and you had a whole class ready to help you. I loved it. <laughs> okay. So, where would you like to go, Kimberly? Um, three D. Three 
D and that's 40 points. Yes. So the Rams are now in triple digits, 100 points for the Rams. It's almost like the actual winner of the Super Bowl here. Congratulations, um, Kimberly. Yeah, I, I think I heard a few new voices. Uh, Patrick, did you did you want to try one? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put you on, uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so five and five. Patrick, I'm going to put you right here. Mm -hmm. So, Patrick, I'm going to give you the word uh, ethnicity. Please use the word ethnicity in a sentence. Ethnicity, okay. And if you need help, just ask your teammates. You got yeah, Annie, I, I, Kim, I'll, Amanda. I'll do, Make I'll a do sentence. The, the con in the context of in the nope. book, no? No, totally free. Totally free. Just make, make a sentence with the word ethnicity. And if you need help, just ask one of your teammates. Mm -hmm. And manner. Uh, we're, we're on ethnicity. Ah, there it is. Okay, let me see. If you need help, just ask for help. Okay. Uh, in the in the U.S., there is a difference between different ethnicity. Sure. Yeah. The U.S. has many ethnicities. Sure. Absolutely. Beautiful. All right, Patrick. Where would you like to go? You have one, two, three, four, five squares. Uh, D D D two. D two, right here. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> and now the Rams have exchanged scores with the Bengals. But don't worry, don't worry, Rams. Everything can change. You never know what's going to happen. That's what makes the game fun. All right. So let's go back to um, who uh, is it back to um, Kerry? Yes. All right, Carrie, I'll give you the word predisposes. Predisposes. Um, person with um, high, high weight. Uh, Mm -hmm. predisposed to diabetes beautiful very good and you remember that that's the way we use the word in a sentence last week yes someone who is <laughs> overweight is predisposed to diabetes excellent job very nice very impressive good memory all right so where would you like to go you have one two three four choices all right i'll go with B2. B2 and B2 is 30. Okay. So Bengals have 130. All right. And uh, Wesley, you had a question? No, I don't have. Okay. Uh, Fernanda, are you ready? Fernanda, you still there? Okay. Uh, let's go to Inmar. Yes, I'm here. Okay, wonderful. Let's give, I'll give you the word anthropologists. 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 Okay. Put anthropologists in a sentence, please. Okay. The anthropologists study the volcanoes in my country. Beautiful. Anthropologists study volcanoes. And really, anthropologists study volcanoes? Yeah. Not geology. Ge wait, ge not geologists? Yeah, geologists too. Okay, but anthropologists study the volcanoes? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, they okay. help. They help them. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. Oh, yeah. for, I just saw Fernanda was had left and now she's back. Okay, that's why Fernanda missed her turn. It's okay. All right, Inmar, where would you like to go? D four. D four, and that's right down here. And D four is, uh, oh boy, negative one hundred. Oh wow! So, oh no, it's like life. It's not fair. Totally red. Right. You can associate the uh, anthropologies and uh, ethnicity. Uh, yes, anthropologists would study different ethnicities. Yes, anthropo anthropology is generally a study of culture. Yeah. And uh, when when um, Inmar said they study volcanoes, that's interesting to me. Um, Inmar, you're from uh, El Salvador, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah. so the anthropologists study the they volcanoes. They help them. They help the uh, uh, geologists. Okay. All yeah. right. So, like, what what it, what a volcano means to groups of people culturally? Why a volcano is important? In my country, uh, we have uh, a lot of volcanoes, but the most danger is uh, Ilopango. Ilopango okay. volcano. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. All right. So we've got two Are more words it, left. No I'm problem, here Fernanda. <laughs> no problem. I, I, it's my, okay. My computer it, turned off. That's no worries. Inmar took your turn, but don't worry. I know you're back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank uh, Wes, you. Let's see. I think I think Francellas. Are you are you next or is it Wesley? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay, so Francellas, here we go. Francellas, so this will be the last for the Bengals. Here we go. Okay, Francellas, uh, I'll give you the word traits. Okay, um, she is famous for her traits of her beautiful face. Sure. Or her face has a lot of beautiful traits. Very good. All right. Now you got two choices. Which one? C4. C4. C4 is minus 80. Ooh. So let's do the math here. Minus 80, that'll be 50. All right. So the bangles are still up. The bangles are still up. Now we don't know what's behind here. This is a question mark. Very exciting. Who knows what it's going to be? Okay. So let's see. That's Francellas. Fernanda, there we go. Your turn. Okay. Fernanda, last word, manner. Please use manner in a sentence. Teacher, I can. Oh, wait. Fernanda came back. Fernanda, are you there, my dear? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay. It was like you're coming and going back. I just want to try. <laughs> Who, who is it? Belkis wanna try. Oh, yeah, Belkis? I, 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 okay. I, I, <laughs> All right, For, Fernanda, is that okay with you? Belkis gives it a shot. My parents taught me God men great Okay. All right, okay, I can hear the microphone is having some issues. I'm gonna have to mute Fernanda. Um, Fernanda, you got your you got two devices on at the same time, that's why. Uh, Belkis. You want to uh, you, you put it in a sentence as well? Yes. Um, okay. The, the man manner that they do the thing, it is not correct. Okay. Well, now you only have one choice, both Fernanda and Belkis. Here it is. <laughs> I don't know if you can see what I put on the post-it note. This is 60. The last one in the square is 60. So the final score is Rams minus 20 and the Bengals 60. So unlike the Super Bowl, the Bengals win, not the Rams. All right, everybody. <laughs> so that Thanks is the Bengals. game. That is the game. Good job, everybody. I hope that was a little bit of fun. Uh, it's time to take a break. Time to take a break. I'm going to set the timer. Here we go. And when we come back, I'll go over um, the upcoming holiday. So, whoops, let me just set the timer and everybody can have uh, a nice 10 minute break here.
Georgie and my call, hey. when you're lost the game, it's the look and a good look and, and love. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So, okay. So the Rams, you're going to have lucky. You're going to have some, you're going to find love. That's, that's a good, good consolation prize. Okay. All right, everybody take a 10 minute break. Okay. George, I sent a personal message.
Okay, welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> All right. George, very interesting, the agents of socialization. I think so, too, yeah. It's a great very book. Nice. Great book to use. Yep. So everybody, I'm going to show you, I'm going to direct you to Google Classroom right now. Here we go. Commercial. All right, so yes, we're going to be going over some commercials. So I thought I had my Google Classroom page up already. Uh, there it is. All right. So, okay, everyone. So I have a re, well, actually, first I want to check. Uh, all right. Okay, everybody. I'll, I'll bring up the video panel on the side of the screen. Just want to make sure everybody's has returns. You can give me a um, hand raising or thumbs up emoji if you're here. Let me see a few cameras on. Okay, everyone, we're back. We have returned. All right, great. Great, great, great. Okay. So what I've done here is I have reposted uh, what I posted at the very beginning of the semester in January. And it is the schedule for the days, for the week. So uh, Monday is your day off. You have an extra day to complete assignments if you need to. Tuesday, that's today, we have our 10 o'clock class. Wednesday is the first assignment due. Thursday, first assignment of the week due. Thursday, we have our second class. And then Friday is when I post a due date for the next assignment. Uh, that's generally the routine that we're in. And most of you have been doing great. I know the work has been getting intense with a lot more reading and writing. Uh, and for those of you who have followed along, I've got a reward. I'm not posting another writing assignment this week. So you can take a break from your writing. For those of you who have assignments missing, this is your chance to catch up. So I'm gonna not post an assignment due for tomorrow or for Friday, a writing assignment that is. No writing due for tomorrow or Friday. I'm giving everyone a break. And folks who need to catch up, some students for whatever reason, they've missed three, to, uh, three even sometimes four assignments. If you're really falling behind, this is your week to catch up, catch up so that next, uh, after the break, we're all on the same page. Okay. Uh, any questions about that? No. Okay, great, great. So folks missing assignments, please uh, use this time to catch up. Uh, Kimberly, yes, question. Yeah, teacher. Uh, so that means we're gonna... We are going to return to classes on March 1st or before. Ah, good, good, good. I'm going to answer that one in one moment. Wesley, what's your question? No, I'm done. Okay, great. So Kimberly, you answered the ideal question. Uh, Kimberly says we're going to return to classes Mar in March. Here it is. And the answer is uh, almost. I think we have one last day in February when we come back. Uh, we'll be back to class. Oh, actually, yes. So that is March 1st. Yes. March 1st to Tuesday because we have Monday off. Yes. Absolutely right. So here's the academic calendar. We follow the Boston Public Schools. So here it is. It is now... February 2022, this is, our, yeah, this is what our semester looks like. So here we are on February 15th and no classes here. We follow, this is winter break, Boston public school schedule. So I'm not giving anyone a, a writing assignment due in here because I want everyone to catch up. So I will give an assignment, but not a writing assignment. So I'm get, letting everybody catch up here. And we will return to class on March 1st. Yes. We'll have our regular Zoom class on Thursday. And I'm going to give you something to get ready for for tomorrow. And then 
Uh, I'll give everyone a break to catch up here for the rest of the week. Uh, and right, then we you. have March and April and May, and that's it. So then March, April, May, and it's basically by the time we get into May, basically wrap. Any questions about that? Uh, one thing to stress here, during the week, Chris, our volunteer from Boston College, he is available to help students in his free time. He posts uh, he posts links to his Zoom class. He has a conversation club. Uh, he's also in the same Google Classroom, so he sees these assignments. If you're struggling with one thing or another, Chris can help you. Uh, little things with assignments that are tricky, just ask Chris, hey, what's this? What's George talking about? He is there. He's volunteering his time to help out. Everybody should take advantage of uh, Chris. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what our next agenda is. Okay. Each, I'm writing something on the stream. This is not something to turn, a written assignment to turn in. <clears throat> Each year in the US, the most watched uh, TV event is the Super Bowl. Many Americans watch the commercials and talk about them the week after. Attached is an article about our article ranking the best and worst Super Bowl commercials of 2022. During Thursday's class, I would like everyone to share their favorite commercial. Air country. And say a few words about it. You can post a YouTube link to the commercial below. Now I'm attaching here the article ranking the best and worst Super Bowl commercials of, where is that? There it is, 2022 here. So this is what I'm posting here is a fun activity. And this will be a speaking activity. It's a, like a short presentation. Um, so in a minute, I'm going to put everyone in a breakout room, say, ask everybody to share different commercials. Bill Keese, I think you did this with me last uh, winter semester. Uh, Bill Keese, do you remember uh, when we shared commercials? A lot of students from, from the DR shared different uh, commercials. Like there was an El Presidente beer commercial. I don't remember, teacher. Okay. Maybe I, well, anyway. Um, so for instance, but, but we, yeah. we will have to say the, or talking the commercial, or we will take a, a commercial and upload to the, the page. Oh, uh, good question. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean right here. So this is a list of, um, all these different American commercials. We're gonna go over some of them right now. How you share your commercials would be like this. Okay. Um, uh, Bruna, do you have a favorite uh, Albanian commercial? No, I'm not fan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I don't no, have nothing. That was, that, that was a quick answer. No. <laughs> um, Fernanda, uh, let's see. Fernanda, Brazil, right? Yes. Can you give me the name of your favorite Brazilian commercial? Yes, and the beer. Okay, I'm just gonna look on, you can, so for, in answer to Belkis's question, how would I do this? I'm gonna say, 
if I'm if I'm Fernanda, I'll say what was it? Brazilian beer commercial, and you would Brazilian beer commercial. I don't know. It, let's say if it's this one. Yes, Brahma. Brahma. Or, okay. Yes. So check out this verbo. If uh, I am Fernanda, I would say hi. My favorite. Uh, hi, uh, in Brazil, this is a very popular commercial. And then I would share it like that. Oh. So, so basically, and then we'll have like a, we'll have a collection of commercials to talk about and share during class from all over the world. So we'll get a Brazilian commercial from Fernanda. We'll get a a uh, Haitian commercial, we'll get an Albanian commercial, we'll get a Dominican commercial. So we'll have like the whole world together in this list of different commercials that we can present in class on Thursday and everybody can speak a few words about it. So that I like to save this as a, a little bit of fun in the middle, middle of the semester. And it is, I think it is a lot of fun. It, it's a nice cultural experience. Teacher, is so, the same? Hey. Is the same when you talk about the song, the my the our favorite song. Yes, very similar with the okay. class. Yes, you. I remember that. Yes, you're very yes. similar. Whenever I ask everyone to share their favorite song, okay. so yes, share your favorite commercial, and we'll talk about it in class on Thursday. So okay. this is a fun assignment. Just prepare a little bit to speak, uh, and if and no writing. I know I've been pushing everybody hard with the writing recently, so I'm giving you a break. Just share your favorite commercial from your country. Uh, sound like fun? Let's go into some of yeah. these Super Bowl commercials. Good, good, good. Uh, here were a few of these right here. I'm gonna show everybody for breakout rooms, I'm gonna show a few of these popular commercials this year from the Super Bowl. And so a lot of times it's really hard to catch the humor, catch the words, and I'll put everyone into a breakout room to discuss them. Um, Uber Eats was pretty funny. Did anybody see this one? Yes. Okay, the first, I'm gonna show everybody this Uber, Uber Eats commercial. So this is a new commercial for Uber Eats uh, debuted. Uh, I'll turn off the video panel so everyone can see the whole screen, hide video panel. All right, so here's Uber Eats. So let me just make sure everybody can hear. Can everybody hear? Did everybody right. hear that? No. If it was, no. Okay, I'm gonna re-optimize it for sound and video here. Okay, optimizing for sound and video. Everybody should be able to hear this. Wait, if it was delivered with Uber. Everybody can hear that, right? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so here's the Uber Eats commercial. Here we go. Wait, if it was delivered with Uber Eats, does that mean I can eat it? Oh no, oh no. It says eat. It's a diaper. Oh no, oh no. This tastes bad. This candle tastes funny. Mm -mm, I'm, I'm gonna eat it. Not bad, but funny. And thanks to Uber Eats, we don't even know what food is anymore. <coughs> this is your food. <laughs> we can't eat most of this. <laughs> yeah, we can't eat any of this. Why Uber Eats? Why Uber Eats? That bag's a liar. Yeah, I just got so excited. Okay, does everybody, one, one thing, I, this is now the third time I've watched this. Um, I want to point out there's warnings on this commercial. Does everybody see them on the bottom of the screen? There's a warning. Does, can everybody read that? Prop food, do not eat kitty litter. <laughs> <laughs> And then when Trevor Noah bites into the light bulb, do not attempt. Not a real light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's the Uber Eats commercial. Um, 
and I'll show you, let's see how many people we have 16. So I'm going to make three breakout rooms. Okay. So we have a Hellman's mayonnaise commercial. Uh, we have, uh, let's see what general motors. There was a car commercial with Dr. Evil character from an older movie. Uh, FTX investing commercial. That's a way to invest in cryptocurrency. Another car commercial by Kia. Rocket Mortgage. Uh, let's do Rocket Mortgage. <clears throat> um, everybody, a mortgage. Does everybody know what a mortgage is? Yeah. Yes. Some engagement you take to, to buy a house. Yeah. In English, we use the word mortgage to describe the loan to buy the house. So in, in other languages, the word loan is used for everything, like a loan for this, a loan for that is just a loan. But in English, we use the word mortgage as the specific loan for the house. So here is the rocket mortgage commercial. All right. Barbie really wants this dream house. It's got stunning views and a slide. Barbie's ready for fun. So cool. And Barbie found out about this dream house with an alert from Rocket Homes. It did? Well, it's a super competitive market. Everyone wants to buy the dream house. Better off for Betty. I'll go 10 over asking. Cash off for Carl. Straight cash. House Super Skipper. Let's tear it to the studs. You vultures, you're gonna start a bidding war. This is less than ideal. Oh no. Don't worry, Barbie has a verified approval that shows her finances are backed by Rocket Mortgage. So Barbie wins. But we need a house. Oh, I found a fixer-upper castle on Rocket Homes. It has good bones, but really bad neighbors. <laughs> I like his vibe. Get your dream house all in one place with Rocket Homes and Rocket Mortgage. For a better way to find and finance, Rocket can. Thanks for helping. No problem, it's good for my glutes. Okay, so there's the Rocket Mortgage commercial. Uh, let's watch one more. Uh, does everybody know what an Alexa is? Amazon. Yeah. Does it, who, who can tell me what is an Alexa? Alexa is a robot. I E I E I E I E a uh, uh, smart speaker. Smart speaker. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Uh, just want to make. Um, this was a pretty funny commercial. Um, does everyone know what the word means? Uh, reading your mind. It's a, this is so Scarlett Johansson. Well, actually, before I go into this one, okay. I'm going to vote. Out. Who wants, this is Lay's potato chips, this one. This one is Amazon's uh, Alexa smart speaker. This one is uh, booking.com, the book a hotel. Uh, let's vote. Who, for the last commercial, who wants booking. Uh, I'll put on the video panel so I can see some faces and hands raised. Okay. If you want the booking.com commercial, raise your hands physically or, okay, nobody's got their hand up. All right, so that's nobody. Uh, if you want the Alexa commercial, Amazon, raise your hand. Okay, we got it. Okay, we got about four or five hands up. If you want the Lay's potato chip commercial, raise your hand. Andrea, you raised your hand twice. <laughs> I think the Alexa commercial got the most. All right. So there we go. The article is attached. You can watch them all later. So we'll do the Alexa commercial. Here we go. All right. So this is a, the joke is uh, the smart speaker in your house that you can talk to to do things like you tell the speaker, turn on the whatever uh, dishwasher, turn on the TV. What if it could read your mind? What if you didn't have to tell it and you were thinking something and it would just do it? You got, so, you can, you can, you got it in your phone too, in your iPhone. Like Siri, yes. But what if, what if you could, what if it would read your mind? If you could just think something and it would happen. So uh, here's that commercial. Hey babe, check this out. Alexa, it's game day. Streaming football on Prime Video. Closing blinds. Chilling rosé. Rosé? Well, it's an afternoon game. Huh. <laughs> it's like she can read your mind. Read your mind. I love that we get to sleep mm. in 
Ordering fresh mint mouthwash. Extra strength. I was thinking, I should get a spray tan, you know? Because it's on Wednesday. Activating blender. Funeral's on Monday. But what about the gold, Papa? Can't you see the treasure all along? It was here. Love the eye patch. It's when does the show open? March 8th. Setting reminder to fake your own death on March 8th. Not, uh... What the When you have to do those love scenes with hot guys, is that fun or is that like the worst? It's the worst. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Mm. <laughs> Scarlett, this bread is delicious. Oh, God. Did you make it? Yes, uh, it's from my Gammy's recipe. Announcement. Gammy is short for she bought it at Whole Foods. Announcement. <laughs> Left the oysters in the car for five hours. It's probably better Alexa can't read your mind. Bad idea. All right, so I'm gonna make three breakout rooms. Here we go. The first breakout room, breakout room number one, uh, you will discuss the Uber Eats commercial. So for breakout room one, Uber Eats. Uh, second commercial, Rocket Mortgage. And third commercial, Amazon Alexa. All right, so I'm gonna- I need Alexa. So, well, I, it's going to be random. The, uh, Zoom, it, it'll be luck. It'll be luck. So I'm going to, it's, it's a lot of people. I'm going to let the computer generate the rooms. So you might get it, you might not. It's like rolling the dice. Here we go. Here we go. Breakout room. So breakout room one, Uber Eats. Breakout room two, Rocket Mortgage. Breakout room three, Alexa. Here we go. Okay. Generating breakout rooms now. Okay, everybody can join their breakout room. 